Hey you guys, I'm Tirza. is going to be not even a serious topic like the thing is the world is serious it's just that for some reason it's not acceptable in society to be serious quote unquote serious when you encounter people within our world because the moment you address something that's so-called serious or in other words what i like to call it the truth people disengage from the conversation and they want to pretend like it's not real and would rather talk about the weather you know small talk um people say they hate small talk that's like the most popular sentence nowadays well if you hate it so much then why do you keep using it why do you keep promoting small talk by literally using it all the time I don't know. I mean, it seems to me like they don't hate it and they hate the truth and that's why they don't want to talk about Jesus and the truth and the Bible and heaven and hell and everlasting life because the truth and the matter of our existence is that we were created by God and we will die one day. This body will die. It's decaying at this very second as we're watching this video, as I'm speaking right now and that's why I felt urged to make this video because um yes i could make a hot music video showing off my body and all that but honestly i'm gonna die one day and i'd rather leave behind messages of the truth leading people to everlasting life with god um you know rather than just posting meaningless videos all the time like it's not that they're meaningless it's just you know i don't need to further explain honestly it's pretty like self-explanatory um, anyways, you guys, like, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to my life and things like that. So, I am the first daughter of an ex-Christian pastor of a Christian church. Um, long story short, my parents got a divorce. It was a very sticky situation. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't really want to ex oh my gosh I don't really want to explain the whole thing cuz I'm trying to make my parents not look bad um but uh okay there was an infidelity in the marriage um, and so that made my dad uh quit his pastor job and because it affected him so badly and I was only 11 and so basically I went away from God a couple times long story short I came back to God and I was at it was the age of I was the age of 16 and basically I had this huge uh spiritually spiritual awakening with God Jesus and um yeah there is only one God it's Jesus you guys like in the Bible, it even warned people, it warned the future generations that there will be false prophets claiming to um, the public and just the people of the world that Jesus is not God. And Jesus is God. So honestly, I'd recommend just believing it now because 
you're just going to push yourself away from the truth if you don't. Like, it's literally the truth. Um, people don't say it enough. They would rather talk about the weather and if it's gloomy or if it's nice out or whatever. Like, it's just, it's actually, like, literally blatantly stupid. I can't stand small talk. Um, I really can't. Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to give you a little backstory of, like, just a small sliver of my testimony. I've been, I've been, um, beaten by boyfriends, uh, two of them, separately, obviously. Uh, I did, I, I've had two good boyfriends. Not good, but, like, they weren't woman beaters. But I've had two boyfriends that were woman beaters, and I've only had four boyfriends. I mean, it's not that that's a good thing or anything like that, you know, obviously in the Bible it says we should wait before, we should wait till marriage until getting intimate with the opposite sex, whatever, um, not whatever, you know what I mean, but anyways, you guys, I, as you can see in this title, um, yeah, I wanted to make a video about, also, like, it might be lengthy, so just stay tuned, like, yeah, just, just stay tuned, like, this information is important, if you want to know the truth about the entertainment industry and things like that, then just keep on watching, um, I'm going to just be exposing some things that I noticed in the new, sorry, that's my cat in the litter box, I'm going to be exposing some, some satanic, let me just get my notes journal, because I just want to make sure that I'm saying this right, okay, so, um, yeah, so I did watch the new Beetlejuice movie the other night when it came out on September 6th. Um, yeah, so I went and I saw that. So yeah, Beetlejuice 2024. Um, I'm going to be decoding its satanic hidden messages and secret hypnosis. If you don't know, um, the entertainment industry of today, um, is ran by Satanists. Um, obviously the monetary system is as well. Like if you just open your eyes in the world, you can just see things. And if you don't feel like you have spiritual eyes, ask Jesus Christ, ask Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, to open your eyes from spiritual blindness and you will see these things. I kid you not. I was once called crazy when I was 16 when I was saying these things. My family thought I was crazy. Doctors thought I was crazy. I was diagnosed a million things, told that I have schizophrenia and all that stuff. And um, no, those are just demons. Like mental illness, they're just demons. It's just plain and simple. That's that's what that is. It's demons. Um, I don't want like also. I don't want you guys to like think that I think I'm perfect. I don't. Um, yeah, I have my own sins. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Um, this is not my crucifixion though, so that was a bad joke. Anyway, so I'm just going to be reading off a couple notes that I wrote down before before starting this video. So first off, I w I'm just going to comment on the special effects of Beetlejuice 2024. Like, okay, yeah, okay, the special effects were great, okay, cool, yeah, whatever, that's to be expected. <clears throat> The entertainment industry is owned and operated by Satanists. Do you not think that they have all the resources in the world and own the monetary system? They own it. They own money. $10 million doesn't mean anything to them. They can create $10 million. It doesn't matter. They, these people do not care. These people, they, all they care about is their agenda from Satan. You guys, like, I have found so many reliable sources and testimonies of people who have suffered from these satanic people of our world. Um, uh, I've, I've seen actual children give, like, their testimonies from when they were children and the things that they would do, like coffins, you guys, they would, they would put kids, these Satanists who run the entertainment industry today, put young children from like babies and just like, you know, children, children, um, into coffins filled with every type of insect, snake, scorpion, tarantulas, all of it. 
filled to the top and they will leave the kids in there and they'll do their little satanic rituals around it like these people are sick okay so you have to realize that like, there's things there's reasons why they are making these movies for us like and I'll just be very blunt think about the word television okay it's called tell a vision it's telling you a vision that's what that's just break down the word okay English is a language that if you just look at it you can see where words come from you know um, I'm pretty sure everything like our language English comes from Latin so yeah you can do the research for yourself but um, I'm just here to bring this bring this message forward other uh, things that I noticed from the movie and everything that I'm saying now the whole point of the entertainment industry is for these Satanists who own the entertainment industry is to cause a mass hypnosis. They do not want you thinking that death matters. They do not want you going to Jesus Christ because their leader is Satan himself. If you don't, if you are not familiar with the Bible, the Bible's whole point is to let us know that because of Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for our sins. He felt that burning flame within his heart because of all the sins we have done. He took our sins. God, his father, even though they are three in one, gave Jesus Christ, who is himself in human form, so that he could take all of our sins um, from that time and forward and... I'm not sure about the souls who are already dead. You guys could try to ask God yourself about that one or read the Bible. Um, but the point is, Jesus took that pain in on the crucifixion. He was tortured. He went to hell for a certain amount of time. It might, it might have been two days. I'm not sure. You can look that up as well if you want. All I know is he actually went to hell. He descended into hell. Um, Jesus and yes so he died for our sins you guys and the point is if we do not you know have a relationship with Jesus and try our best to follow the Bible um, and its teachings then yeah, we're doomed like if Jesus did not die for our sins there would no there would be no heaven for us period we would be doomed we would never even have a chance we'd be alive and then go straight to hell like and honestly, that's where a lot of people go. It says the narrow path, the small path is chosen um, by very few. Like, or, let me explain this right. Okay. Um, very few people, very few people um, go to heaven because they do not want to, like, I don't know. It's just they don't, they don't choose, they choose the path of destruction over, um, you know, Jesus. And yeah. I'm really hot, by the way, you guys, so I hope you guys don't see that on camera. Okay, so Satan knows that heaven and hell are the final destinations. Do you understand? So, like, Satan knows that. So he wants you and he wants me and all of us to think the opposite. He wants us to think that death is a joke, there is no burning hell, yada, yada, yada. Demons don't torture you. They don't literally... F-U-C-K every single hole in your body and I'm not joking I mean your eyeballs your nose your ears I'm not joking I literally saw uh, an ex-gangster who got shot and went to hell and told his story of what he saw in hell and he saw a girl and by the way hell has no age limit like he saw children in hell because they did not have a relationship with Jesus that's where they went and he saw them there this guy, this man who got shot, he got shot and died and went to hell. And when he woke up, he was in the hospital. He freaked out because he couldn't believe that he was just in hell. And he tells his story on the internet now. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I can see if I can find his name. I save these videos on my phone. I save them because, you know, TikTok deletes things. And especially ones of Jesus Christ and the message and how important it is. They're always deleted on the internet, if you haven't noticed. Like, I noticed this thing, these things. So I save them before TikTok can delete them. Like, I save them, I download them on my phone. Or I'll screen record. Um, yeah, so because Satan knows that heaven and hell are the only final destinations of us, 
He wants us to believe the opposite and will do anything to do that, to reinforce that belief that heaven doesn't exist, hell doesn't exist, who knows if there's an afterlife, we might just disappear, yada, blah, 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 right? Like, no, you guys. And like, I'm, I struggle with these things too. Like, you know, <laughs> I honestly even struggled with making this video, you guys. It's not always like, it's not always easy to like, come online and like speak the truth that I know but I have to because like I, I know God wants me to talk about this so I'm doing it and also I just love Jesus he's amazing like he loves us so much so a lot of the things that I noticed in Beetlejuice was like like I kind like I mentioned um death is meaningless okay like I noticed the constant reoccurring theme was death is meaningless and okay yes i get it a lot of hearts were interesting and all that but why did we have to bring in such biblical references like if it was just a movie why is the bible involved so heavily hi winter that freaked me out okay anyway um you know what i mean though like why is the bible involved so heavily if it's just a movie like why bring in the bible it just it, it, guys, it's right in front of your face, okay? I'm <laughs> serious. Um, it's right in front of your face. They are using the Bible. They are using these references from the Bible, the words demon, all this. The afterlife being just some little game where there's a dance party and all this. Like, okay, yes, it was very entertaining. Not gonna lie, I really liked it. Like, I liked the special effects. I, but in the whole, like, every scene that they did, I could see the messages that were being portrayed and I could see who it was clearly by. Because I know who runs the entertainment industry. Because I opened my eyes. Um, it's just very clear. Um, and as I was watching it, I actually prayed for every viewer to not have the demons come through the screen. Because I'm not even joking, that's a real thing. Um, I, want, I watched this guy just this past week um, speak on how he used to have a um, P-O-R-N addiction and um, he would literally like it was his addiction was so bad he but he, he would still do it and he would see the demons coming out of the screen from the porn videos and they would have these like no eyeballs no face just like these tentacle things that kind of look like an octopus or a squid coming out at his face through the screen from the porn video that he was watching and he still kept going because he was had such a serious addiction to it the porn um and like these tentacles were like they were like chanting this like evil um incantation into his eyeballs and he said it was going into his eyeballs and into his chest from the demon coming out of the screen through the porn video and he was he also said he saw other porn videos where they were doing things um you know in the porn videos and he could see the demons in those people like biting them making them bleed their spiritual bodies of the humans the demons were attacking these spiritual bodies of the people and he could see both like forms and he could see the demons attacking the people in the spiritual realm and they were biting them and like causing them pain and spitting on the people in the porn videos but he kept going because he couldn't um help himself at the time he he was he, his addiction was too strong and but he can't like he as of late i'm pretty sure he hasn't been but that's up to him um yeah i don't know <laughs> I definitely struggle with my um, own things as well, so I'm definitely not saying I'm perfect. Don't worry, <laughs> trust me. I try, I try my best to repent for the things that I know I've done wrong. By the way, if you're seeing a shadow right there, it's just my kitty, cat. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. So yeah, I noticed a common reoccurring subliminal message that was pro it was it's mass psychosis, you guys. And the thing about Satanism is. Um, what gives these Satanists more power is if you agree to things willingly. And it doesn't take you, like, <laughs> this is how crazy it is. They want to make the movie, they want to make the movie very, very nonchalant, laid back, relaxed, so that you don't see any of this. So that 
people like me who come on here and talk about it look crazy. We look like we're reading into things too much. They can call us conspiracy theorists and things like that. And it makes it very easy to point the finger at people like me who come on here and do this and be like, you're bat SHIT crazy, you're stupid, you're a religious freak, Bible thumper, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, which is actually just a form of gaslighting. Let's use that term then, since we want to, since we want to use gaslighting so much, you know. Um, that is gaslighting because if you just open your eyes, these things are very clear. And listen to this or not, like, those, those people who don't listen to this message will be exactly you where they go and they will be remembering this moment this is a warning and this is love from me and if you don't want to take it from me take it from jesus because he loves you i don't even know you jesus loves you i don't i'm just a messenger like i said in my song sellouts sellouts promo i'm just kidding oh my gosh no but you guys totally should see that video though it's really good i took it down for a while because i was just feeling a little insecure about it but it's an amazing video that i wrote saying um rapped about jesus on my channel so yeah i'm just gonna read some of the things that i noticed was a reoccurring thing like they were having parties in the quote-unquote afterlife in the movie um when they were quote-unquote dead so they were like having parties and dancing and it actually looked really fun they did a great job of showing that of course they would you know like when i watched it i was like okay yeah cool but like why is it why is it so like biblical like even the first movie wasn't even that related to the bible like as much as this one that's how you know like the end days are literally unfolding you guys right before our eyes if you don't know what the end times are like it's just birth pains of the um the rapture and you know the bible things like that um hopefully this video will bring you to more videos on the topic so that you can get more informed um but yeah basically a lot of the messages that i noticed were there is no hell. Death is meaningless. Death is a joke. It won't matter if you die. Priests and churches are weak. Death is fun. Death is a party. I noticed every single one of those were just constantly repeating itself throughout the movie and probably millions more that I didn't notice because I am a video creator myself. I've been a video creator since I was 11 years old, probably yeah, 11 years old. <laughs> I was gonna say probably sooner, but no, yeah, 11 years old. Um, and I know that everything that I have in this frame right here, I have included myself, okay? Like, this is a revised video that I am, I, this lighting is my lighting. You know, I, I created this exact lighting the way I want it, put it exactly the way I want it, and if I, you know, block it, it'll look different. I have this microphone connected to my laptop. Like, it's a very specific thing, okay? So I understand film. Not probably not like to the extent that they even know it, you know, they um, subliminal messages are real and Everything in this frame has an effect on the viewer Whether I'm aware of it or whether you're aware of it or not. Okay, but those people know what they're doing and every single little thing that's included in each frame Is important I'm not saying that it's like oh the tree is important like okay. No, I'm talking about like like other things like the messages that I said, specifically those. Specifically those are probably the biggest messages that are the most evil that were included in that movie. And I'm not saying don't watch it, I'm just saying be aware of these things because this is the industry that is controlling America, North America, and most of the rest of the world because a lot of the world today is influenced by American culture. Most specifically the entertainment industry of the American country. I'm just gonna say one other thing, so, um, the whole point of the entertainment industry is to cause a mass psychosis to the world, to remain unaware of the news of Jesus Christ, that he is our Lord and Savior, and only through him may we enter heaven, to everlasting heaven, it's through him and his forgiveness of our sins there are billions of people in hell at this very moment millions drop there each second i have seen with witnesses speak it you guys like it's a real thing so anyways you guys i i'm i don't want to scare people i just want to like report on this message that i saw okay <laughs>
I'm fine. I'm breathing. Anyways, you guys, um, yeah, I really hope that this really stuck with you and, um, Jesus loves you. He really does. Always will. He's amazing. He's our father. And we are his children. And that's why Satan and the demons hate us so much. Because they hate us. And they can't wait to torture you if you go to hell. So, pray to Jesus, you guys, for your soul. Because this is only temporary. Life is like a withering piece of grass in the wind. That's how long our life lasts here on this earth. Your soul lasts forever. You guys, please put that into perspective for yourself. Because forever is forever. This body right here has a time limit, like a withering piece of grass in the wind. That's what it says in the Bible about our bodies. Okay, that's how long it. That's how long it lasts. Not long. Okay, you guys, give this video a thumb th <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, and go watch my videos so, um, called Sellouts, Sellouts, by me, Tirza, on my YouTube channel. It's a rap song that I wrote about Jesus. It's really good. It's about people selling who think that they can sell their soul to the devil because you can't. Okay, go watch it. Bye!